Hey guys, listen on Gavin here. Welcome to my unboxing of a package that came in the mail today. It is the Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Limited Edition Strategy Guide, and yeah, so hopefully I can unbox this with one hand with the other hand using as to hold my phone so I can record this. But anyway, so uh, let's crack on with it. So, so far, so good. One hand's doing well. Yep, kind of cut off a little bit early. Yep. There we go. Oh, cool packaging. Sweet. So yeah, do you like my workstation? It's actually my bed. So, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, plop. Uh, that, that's a lot of crap. Um, what's this? Amazon stuff. Um, more ads. But anyway. Alright guys, so basically, um, my phone died. Uh, so yeah, thing over there. Right there. It sucks. So, so I was just about to... Uh, take it out of the box and show what was on the back of it um, which the back is actually just a bit of paper but uh, yeah so over here I'll probably have to like manually focus this like a boss but uh, yeah so a massive book that covers everything in the Borderlands 2 game of the year edition uh, with a little bit of text there showing up the new characters right there uh, full class coverage of the new ones uh, which is the Mechromancer and Krieg uh, over here, just uh, outlining the guide and the game, because uh, the Borderlands 2 game of the year edition is just recently came out. Uh, over here we have uh, walkthroughs of all maps and DLC uh, through Pandora. So we've got Captain Scarlet's Pirate Booty, uh, Mr. Tog's uh, Campaign of Carnage, uh, Sir Hamlock's big game, big game Hunt, and Tiny Tina's uh, Assault on Dragon Keep. Um, so, yeah, uh, and down here we have a little bit of writing. Which says uh, extensive weapon coverage uh, and much more. So, yeah, so let's get that back into focus. Uh, don't you just love manual focus? It's great. You just, you've got to love it. So, basically, um, yeah, as I said, this was just like a bit of paper. So, we can move that aside. Over here, we have the back of the box, um, which I was quite, uh, I was quite uh, ecstatic um, when I actually saw it because if I zoom in and then uh, do a bit of focus, uh, it is kind of like baby characters of all of the character uh, of all the Borderlands 2 playable characters. So or at least that's what I think, anyway. Um, but yeah, so not too bad, not too bad indeed. So basically, uh, this book is quite thick, uh, right there. It's uh, 600 pages, I believe. It's a lot of, it's a lot of material in there. Uh, on the side here, uh, I, do, I love doing everything one-handed. It's great. Uh, so here, Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition Guide. Uh, down there, that's just a li little bottle and symbol. Uh, but anyways, so let's take like a quick little peek into the book. Uh, so, uh, great, black page. Uh, going on to the first page, which is, which is just basically a contents page right there. Uh, bottle and two game, the year edition. Uh, just going through everything that's in the book and what page they're on. Uh, starting off, um, we have story time with Marcus, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, telling you a bit about uh, the game. Uh, so yeah, this this is full of like artwork and everything. Uh, the artwork was designed by it says on um, that sheet of paper. Uh, if I can quickly look, uh, featuring exclusive art from Gearbox, Scott Kessler, and packed with developer tips and interviews. This collectible guide uh, is a must for any true vault hunter. So if you're a true vault hunter, go and uh, get it. So yeah, it has a uh, coverage of all the skill trees of all the characters. Um, so there's uh, Maya, or Lilith, should I say. It's telling you a little bit about her, a little bit of internal report. Uh, with her going out with Roland and whatnot. Spoiler. Uh, a little bit more of... Um, this is actually the DLC stuff. It's just basically telling you the missions, the mission objectives, and basically everything about it. Uh, over here we have um, more... Uh, this is Tiny Tina's um, Attack on Dragon's Keep. Uh, so over here we have a once again mission objective, which is quite good because it, then it tells you what to do. Focus, thank you. So it just tells you what to do. A little bit of pictures to tell you where some collectibles are, which uh, I love because I like collecting. Um, over here we have some uh, stuff from Marcus, just telling you all about uh, loot uh, and basically uh, yeah, and all the different types of weapons that you can collect. Um, all of the monsters, uh, actually, you know what? Can we go back a bit? Oh, here we are as well. Um, it also tells you, uh, if I can quickly find it there, here all of the um, DLC legendary weapons. So we have uh, things from like Captain Scarlet's Pirate Booty, uh, such as the Seraph weapons. Uh, over here we have Mr. Tog's uh, Campaign of Carnage, uh, going through everything on there. Uh, over here, once again, Mr. Uh, Sir Hamlock's Big Game Hunt. Uh, so there isn't actually many in um, Mr. Tog's Campaign of Carnage, which I'm quite surprised at. 
Uh, over here, we have Tiny Tina's Assault and Dragon Keep. And we do have a legendary right there, which is... If it focuses... The Auger. Uh, which isn't too bad. Nice bit of damage on it, with it being a... a, a assault Rifle. I couldn't think of what it was called there. And there's another one, which is a grenade mod down here, called uh, Focus. Focus, thank you. Uh, chain Lightning, which does a kind of bit of damage um, in the first time of zero, so that'll be actually pretty good if I can collect that. Uh, but yeah, oh, another legendary as well. Uh, the Firestorm, with a hefty bit of damage, and uh, no first time as well, so I might be looking to pick that one up too. Uh, so yeah, uh, here's a few of uh, the Seraph weapons and whatnot. Um, and yeah, uh, this guide is pretty, uh, pretty well thought. And there's the Pearlescent weapons too. Um, yeah, I love it. So the Premier Club, uh, basically the, the rare... Uh, Vault Hunter's Relic thing and the uh, Control Skyrocket uh, grenade mods. Um, a bit from uh, Sir Hamlock right there, which isn't too bad. What else do we have? We have some great stuff actually. So, yeah, here we move on to the enemies. So, we have the Bully Mongs, plenty of the different types. Uh, we have the Bandits, uh, we have some Badasses, uh, Marauders. Uh, Hyperians, some more badasses. This is actually pretty well thought. It's going to take me like a year to read through this. I'm going to love it. Oh, the chrysalisks. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a field day reading through this. I'm going to love it. It might take me about like eight years to read through it, but yeah, not bad. Um, so yeah, DLC enemies as well. Uh, showing you through. All of the like stuff from uh, Captain Scarlet's Pirate Booty, um, Titan Teen is a sack on, uh, attack on uh, Dragon's Keep. Uh, we have the Sandworms up there from uh, Captain Scarlet's, uh, what are they? Stalkers, hmm, okay. Pretty sure they're everywhere, but okay. So, what else? This is, ooh, what are they? Golems. Ooh. Well, what are they? I may have to read up about them. And knights as well. Hmm. So this guy has already told me more than I, I actually didn't even know. So yeah, um, cutting uh, Claptrap's secret vault. Uh, just basically showing... I'm guessing the stages of what the characters looked like before they actually became what they are now. Which is uh, pretty goddamn sweet. So... Yeah, and then there's just like character models and uh, just telling you the challenges of your character. Um, and then the DLC challenges as well. Um, and then there's just like a little index page. So, that is pretty goddamn good. So, uh, guys, um, this is the end of the video. But um, if you are a Borderlands 2 fanatic like me, then I really do suggest picking this game up. Uh, uh, this this strategy guide up. Uh, just do... Just great for value and honestly the, by the looks of it the amount of stuff that's in there uh, you're going to be down there for hours um, looking through and just having the time of your life so yeah basically guys uh, I highly recommend this so if you do want it then go buy it I'll put a link to it in the description both for England and America if the American have one uh, but yeah guys uh, if you have enjoyed the video then please do hit the like button it helps me out a lot also subscribe as well just so you don't miss out any more content coming from me in the future but until you catch me in the next video, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.